Hey everyone, and welcome back. So, in today's video, we're doing what if every dwarf planet, rocky planet, and major moon orbited Earth. So, this was not an idea by me, this was an idea by uh, Solar System Gaming, I think. There was also another comment just recently that was similar similar to this, but I think uh, it was just dwarf planets and the major moons. So before we do start, uh, everything has its own colors, so... The dwarf planets are a purple, and Jupiter's moons are an orange, Saturn's moons are yellow, Uranus's moons are a light blue, our moon is just a uh, white, Neptune is just a kind of dark blue. There's also Dysnomia and Charon, which are, if you don't know, two moons of um, Eris and Pluto, which I decided to add them in because they're large enough, I would say. So it should be pretty obvious right at the start that this isn't going to go well since, you know, Venus is Mercury, you know, Mars, Titan, they're very, very big, and when everything's very close, it's not nothing's good's gonna happen so yeah right away multiple or actually no earth is in a binary with venus which isn't surprising i mean they're both both pretty much the same size mercury's also got a moon of <laughs> sharon so we're gonna speed up time here so our first moon may go down because titania looks looks to be going straight into mars yeah titania is gonna be our first one to go oberon may be next too it's going straight to venus we're trying to tighten her binary. And yeah, it looks like Oberon's going to go straight into Venus. Trying could be next. Looks to be going straight to Mars, but it may survive, which I think it will. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, there goes Ariel, man. Uranus's moons are not going to get in it easy. Ooh, something collided with uh, Venus. I have no idea what did. But uh, Europa's going into Venus. Look at that. Mercury's going to get really close to Earth. I think Mercury may collide here or side. Ooh. Oh, and looks like Mercury just hit something. I have no idea what that was. So much going on. Ooh, Venus and Earth are kind of close. Ooh, it looks like Mercury. Yeah, Mercury's going to go right, right into Earth. So that's our first planet gone. And Ganymede's a water world or an ocean world. I think Iapetus is going to go right into Earth. Yep. Iapetus is gone. Ooh, something cloud. I have no idea. I missed it out on it again. I think that was Titan, because I don't see Titan anymore. Ooh, I think uh, there goes our moon. Oh, and Dysnomia right into Earth. So there's still a binary between Earth and Venus. Pluto is just all over the place. Which, no, there goes Pluto right into Venus. I think Dione's gonna go right into Mars here. Yep. But I don't think anything's gonna happen after this. Are you sure about that? It could be oh no, there goes Triton right into Venus. And Mars right into Earth. So yeah, for the most part, I think it's just Venus and Earth. Or actually they're not even orbiting each other anymore. Oh never mind, they're back in a binary. I think Venus and Earth will survive, but they'll just be in a binary. I could be wrong, actually, because that looks like it's going straight into Earth. And there goes Venus. So I think that's all, oh, yeah. The closest thing to Earth is Ceres. So besides that, that's pretty much the end of the video. I mean, our survivors are, let's see, uh, Ceres, Haumea. So those are only two uh, dwarf planets. We've also got Ganymede, Callisto, Tethys, Rhea, Miranda, and Charon. So not, not a whole lot. But yeah, um, if you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever that you want me to do, uh, tell me in the comments. It may take me a while for me to get to it because there are already so many other ideas I want that people want me to do. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.